Okay, everyone, let's start things off here at Baylor's campus and meet Trey. He just graduated with his bachelor's in health science studies and a minor in biology and business administration. And he's gonna highlight some of his favorite Baylor traditions and tell us about the spirit and battle cry of the Baylor Bears. Okay, Trey, it's all yours. Please take it away. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. Hey there, everyone. I'm here to talk to you about a few of the traditions that make Baylor University truly one of a kind. A little known fact about our school is that it was founded in February of 1845, which is a little over a year before Texas was made the 28th state in the US. This means that Baylor University has had almost two centuries to develop a rich history of traditions that many generations of Bears have been able to celebrate. One of the oldest and most well-known of these traditions is our annual homecoming celebration. The Baylor family first started celebrating homecoming in 1909, making our university the first in the nation to do so. Ever since then, Baylor students have participated in homecoming events such as mass meeting, in which our freshman students learn about our university's traditions, pigskin, which is an amazing musical style showcase, our pep rally celebration, in which there's an enormous bonfire, and of course, our homecoming football game. One of my favorites was being able to watch the annual Baylor homecoming parade, which is the oldest and one of the biggest in the nation. The energy around campus during homecoming time is so great, it's electrifying. The holiday season is another fun-filled time here on Baylor's campus. Every year, the Baylor family gathers on Fountain Mall in the center of campus to have a special Thanksgiving dinner together in celebration of fellowship, community, and all that God has blessed us with. Not too long after this is when our Christmas on Fifth celebration takes place. During this time, our entire campus is decked out in Christmas trees and lights, games and activities, and even a live nativity scene. The fan favorite event of the night, however, is our Christmas tree lighting ceremony, which happens out on the quad. In my opinion, there is no better way to kick off the Christmas season. If you ask the typical Baylor student what their favorite springtime tradition is, chances are they'll tell you that it's Dia del Oso, which means Day of the Bear in Spanish. On Dia, Baylor gives its students a much needed day off right before springtime finals. For the entire day, our campus is filled with events and activities such as inflatable obstacle courses, food trucks, concerts, and even some petting zoos out on Fountain Mall. I'll never forget my freshman year during Dia, they had goat yoga and even swimming with otters. Throughout the year, every Baylor student has the opportunity to enjoy a free Dr. Pepper float every Tuesday in the Student Union Building at an event known as Dr. Pepper Hour. Dr. Pepper Hour is not only a great time to catch up with your friends in between classes, but also a good time to get to know your professors who just might be enjoying a Dr. Pepper float as well. To be a true Baylor fan, every bear must know how to perform our most unique tradition of all, the Sikkim. Every Baylor bear knows that the Sikkim is our battle cry at games, a greeting, or even just a phrase you use to celebrate. Without a doubt, by the time you graduate, Sikkim Bears just might be a part of your everyday vocabulary. From the moment you first set foot on campus to whenever you walk across the graduation stage, Baylor University completely immerses you in a truly unique college experience you won't find anywhere else. But that's enough from me. Now back to you, Alex. That's awesome, Trey. Thank you for showing us how important traditions are to the Baylor experience. And congrats on your graduation. I know you're looking forward to returning to campus for homecoming as a Baylor alum. Thanks again, Trey. Good luck on all your future endeavors. Take care.